Hi, I'm Beth Christa Wilson and this is Arsenal Viral here on Arsenal Fan TV. We're going to be taking a look at some of the most talked about online Arsenal moments of the week. Kicking off with a look back at the 10 most tweeted deals of the transfer window. As always, the willy won't debate around Wenger signing new players blazed all through summer. It will therefore come as no shock to you to see that Arsenal's three big signings of the window all feature on the list. The surprise though is that in the top 10 are three moves to Arsenal that never actually happened. Mahrez and of course Vardy feature on the list, with Vardy's potential move to the Emirates generating more activity than almost all of the summer signings that actually did happen. Next up, Wiltshire has only just left the Emirates on his season long loan to Bournemouth, but his future with Arsenal is very much a talking point. His current deal with the Gunners ends next summer and it's rumoured that negotiations have already begun about extending it for a further three years. Wiltshire, understandably, is said to be keen on signing a new long-term contract after positive talks with Wenger. Potentially though, Wiltshire could return to the club with a new number, as when asked about the number 10 shirt, Ozil said, it just went free and I definitely want it. The number fits me and my position, playmaker. As always, mixed opinions about this, with some believing Ozil has earned the right to wear the shirt over Jack, but others deem it's unfair to take the number when Wiltshire hasn't even been sold. One user came up with a compromise, suggesting that the club adopt shirt numbers 10A and 10B. Let's call that plan B, shall we? And finally, Nicholas Bettner has of course returned to English football, joining Nottingham Forest. The official Arsenal Twitter account sent their former striker a message saying, Good luck at Nottingham Forest, Lord Bettner, apart from on September 20th, of course. Gooders were quick to reply, with a number of people advising that the post be deleted. Some, however, thought it was another example of Arsenal's class, and others agreed with the tweet and wished the Danish footballer good luck. And of course, it wouldn't be a conversation about the Gunners without some input from Arsenal Fan TV's very own Robbie. A photo of him looking less than happy made it onto someone's reply, and despite this caption, no words are needed to read that beloved man's expression. Well, that's all for now. Busy week coming up for the Gunners, of course. They play Southampton at home on Saturday the 10th. Then they'll be taking on PSG in the Champions League group stage on Tuesday the 13th. Thanks for watching and leave us a comment to let us know what your favourite online Arsenal moment has been over the last week.